Hi there, this is Robert McFay. I'm here in Cincinnati, Ohio, in my basement studio. This is where I spend my time. Uh, my wife and I live in a tiny house in Deer Park, since, uh, just uh, outside of Cincinnati. And uh, I come down here in the, the, the basement, and uh, so I'm down in the basement mixing with my, with my magnets. Uh, here's an example right here. It's found a piece of metal, put a couple magnets on the back, and then I'm just doing a lot of little portraits, little characters, and uh, I've been enjoying myself working working on a smaller scale. Uh, but this is the same studio that I produced all of the work for Sign Symbol. Last night we put out the last of our videos, the assemblage of artists and friends that we got together to present the show. Uh, we put the last one out last night. It was with Bill Ross and Keith Banner, the owners of Thunder Sky Gallery. And now we're just home. Um, it's August, the end of August, and uh, I'm going to do a little thing here called Sign Symbol Repurpose, uh, uh, a way to sort of stretch it out. Uh, what I'm going to do is in the next 10 shows, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the process, uh, urban fishing, the gallery garage, um, I'm going to show the, uh, a couple of magnet tutorials. Today we're going to give a, a little bit of a, a glimpse into uh, a pour uh, with the, the the with everything that is going on in the country right now. Um, I've been doing these magnets, but uh, thought I'd take a little break from the magnet and produce a larger piece. Uh. One important tip to remember when doing a resin pour is read the directions. It's Pour it into a container in equal amounts. Stir for six minutes. Pour into a clean container and stir for an additional six minutes. The pour. This is a brand new piece inspired by recent political events. I call it the despot. It's a collection of shiny material picked from the streets of Cincinnati. Kind of uh, had sort of a dictator in mind and uh, created little shoulder patches for him. I'm trying to coat everything here. And it's funny as I watch this video the little red triangle and I miss one little corner of the red triangle and sure enough even double checking and looking at all the parts that tiny little corner of the triangle never did get any paint on it but the rest of it did get locked in good so beautiful pour very few bubbles coated everything nicely, nice deep pour. I create my well on the corners there to give me that spacer, which is a natural item that I use. I'll talk about that more in the weeks to come and videos to come. Like I said, we've got 10 videos planned for the few days here, try to release one each week. And again, it's equal amounts. Uh, most of these I just guess at the pour. Uh, you don't really notice it here, but I actually have a handful of little magnets that I have. Uh, uh, if I have enough material left over, you can see them on the side there. But uh, if I have any material or 
resin left, I'm going to pour those if I run myself out. But generally, I do pretty well at guessing these things. Uh, I'm being pretty cautious here. I'm basically nearly a full cup here. It's, I don't know what the measurement is there. It's about this much. So here we are outside with what light we have. Enjoy.